a problem from cycloidal motion and the problem is a particle describes a cycloid s this is equal to 4a sin psi this is the intrinsic equation of cycloid with uniform speed v find its acceleration at any point also prove the normal acceleration at any point varies inversely as the square root of the distance from the base of the cycloid this is the problem we first draw a rough sketch of cycloid and the cycloid is we we'll draw only one arch of cycloid this is cycloid this is the vertex and this is the base okay and intrinsic equation is given by s equal to 4a sin psi this is the intrinsic equation of the cycloid at any point p this is the point p we draw a tangent right and this angle is psi and this is the positive direction of velocity v and we know that in this direction tangential acceleration ft act and the normal acceleration is fn perpendicular to the tangential acceleration let the coordinate of p is xy this is the coordinate of p now we have to find the acceleration at any point let it be at p so acceleration is given by is f this is equal to f t square plus f x square that is tangential acceleration whole square plus normal acceleration whole square whole root okay and we know that tangential acceleration f t this is v d v d s and normal acceleration f n this is d square by rho we find here the value of rho that is the radius of curvature this is rho this is d s by d psi this is 4 a cos psi so it is given that the speed is uniform that is v is constant okay so if v this is equal to constant then dv must be equal to 0 and this is nothing but v dv ds and this is f t so tangential acceleration is 0 as a normal acceleration this is given by v square this is given by capital v so v square by 4 a cos psi okay and we get acceleration f this is equal to 0 square plus f square that is f so this is v square by rho and this is given by v square by rho means 4a 4a into cos psi this is 1 minus sin square psi so if this is equal to v square by 4a into root under 1 minus what is sin psi sin psi is s by 4 so s square by 16 square and this gives v square by root under 16 square minus s square and this is the required acceleration okay and this is our first result find its acceleration at any point okay this is the first result now here we put s this is equal to 4a into dy ds because we know that in differential calculus sin psi equal to dy ds and cos psi this is equal to dx ds okay 
now we get s ds this is equal to 4a dy and integrating we get s square by 2 this is equal to 4ay plus and integrating constant which is taken to be capital A and at the vertex O 0 0 here S this is equal to 0 psi this is equal to 0 we know and at the cusp this is let A this is we know that S sorry this is we know that psi this is equal to pi by 2 then S this is equal to obviously 4a sin pi by 2 so 4a now we put in the initial condition a is equal to 0 and here y is also equal to 0 because x y this is 0 0 ok and get a equal to 0 and getting the result s square equal to 4a y into 2 that is a to y this is important relation of cycloid ok now if or this is v square by rho or this is normal acceleration here f is v square by rho or f is normal acceleration and this is given by v square by root under 16 16 square minus we put the value of s square from here and this is 8ay ok so this is v square by we take common from this we get common take common 8a so we get 2 root 2 into root a into root 2a minus y ok now we find the value of y at the point a that is at any point of the base now to find the value of y at any point of the base we put here s this is equal to 4 a and from this relation we get 4 a whole square this is equal to 8 a y so y this is equal to 16 a square by 8 a so this is 2 a ok so we get this height is 2 a right and the depth of p is given by y from the vertex so this is y and the distance of any point p from the base is given by this distance and obviously this is 2a minus y okay so we can write this is v square by this is root 8a into root under distance of p this is xy from the base of cycloid ok and we write this result as if in this is normal acceleration is varies as since this term is a constant varies as 1 by root under distance of p from base ok and this is our second proof that is varies inversely as the square root of the base and this result gives that fm is varies inversely the square root of the distance of the point from the base okay this is our solution of the problem thank you thank you for watching